Morning everyone, how are we this morning? Happy Wednesday! I swear I really don't know the days of the week, every day seems the same. Uh, you always have to think, yes it is Wednesday isn't it? Oh. I'm just going to hang on another few seconds just to see who's around and who wants to join us and do our um, visualization and our gratitude list. So I'm going to have a look for um, some nice music. So if you're on, say hello, so I know you can hear me. Morning, Maura. How are you? Okay. Just getting some nice music here. We're going for a walk right now. How are you? Okay. Some people just swim their way pretty much to the high level. Very nice. Okay, so just let me know volume wise. Morning, Regina. Morning, Karen. Morning, Caroline. Morning, Mary Carmen. How are you all this morning? Uh, morning, Marie. I did say that already, sorry. Um, okay, perfect. So just let me know. You can hear that. We don't want it too loud either. We'll be able to relax. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna do a few minutes of visualization before we write our list. Morning, Annie. And it's all oh, thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. So, sit back in your chair. Nice and relaxed. Relax your whole body. <sighs> okay, close your eyes. Palms facing up on your thighs. Let the energy flow freely to and through you. Okay, so relax your full body. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Deep breath in. When you're breathing in, breathe in. Relaxation, gratitude and love. Hold. And breathe out all your stresses and worries and anxieties. One more deep breath in. Expand your belly when you breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. And contract your belly when you're breathing out. So I want you to imagine a funnel of lavender energy above your head. It's swirling above your head and the point of it is right at the top of your head. The lavender energy flows in through your head down your forehead, down your cheeks, to your chin, to your neck, and to your shoulders. And as it's coursing through your body, it's relaxing every part of your body. Go down to your chest, down your arms, down to your fingertips. And down to your belly, to your hips, down through your thighs, and down through your knees, your legs, and all the way down to the tips of your toes. You're feeling really, really relaxed. So I want you to take you to a place where your dreams are met. 
all your goals are achieved. You've achieved everything you've ever wanted. You have the abundance you've been asking for. All your work has paid off. You have the freedom now in everything you've ever wanted. Take yourself to that place. In a certain type of house. In a beach house. A lake house. A house two or three times the size of the one you're in now. Is it a big farmhouse? Or is it a holiday? Trip around the world. First class holiday. Or is it a certain amount in your bank account? What do you see? What's there for you? Who is there for you? Who is there with you celebrating all your successes? You see the ocean. You see a lake. Are you looking out your own window? Down to your beautiful landscape gardens? Who is there? Your kids playing? Is your puppy there? Your partner? Look around you, look at your environment. Who's there with you? What can you see? Feel the gratitude for having it all now. How does that feel? You're no longer working in a job you don't want to be in. You're no longer surrounded by negative thoughts or conversations. You have abundance. More money worries are a thing of the past. So now wherever you are, look around you and find a mirror. It could be on the wall, in your beautiful bathroom, or your new bedroom. Or on your first class flight or it could be the ocean your reflection or your reflection in a lake take a look at yourself look at the way you're dressed look at the way you're standing the confidence you have in yourself now Look into your eyes. How does it feel to look into your eyes and say, I did it. I did it. Feel the pride in accomplishing everything you've ever wanted. Pride in never giving up. For deciding you're going to achieve this and for going after it. Stay in that emotion. Feel what it feels like to celebrate all your successes.
and remember this feeling as you bring yourself back. Open your eyes. So lovely, isn't it? So, so lovely. So, morning everybody jumping on. Um, yeah, so as I always say, we are creating future memories. So do it every day. Um, do it at night time as well when you're going to sleep. Really, really. Um, it helps and it helps you to, um, it helps your, um, your emotional mind, which is just your subconscious mind to, um, uh, to kind of get working on it. And um, remember, it doesn't know, it, time doesn't exist. Um, in your um, in your subconscious mind so it doesn't know that it hasn't ha happened already so it starts to come into fruition um, when you're doing it at night time and in the morning because your subconscious mind is wide open your conscious mind is asleep so your subconscious mind doesn't sleep so that's where you need to impress all this information all these feelings all these emotions Mary Carmen love it I know I know it's so lovely um, so yeah so do it do, do it at night time as well when you're going to sleep so, um, yeah, how's everybody getting on? I was up this morning uh, writing more of my gratitude journal. Very exciting. I um, um, I actually was on the Proctor Gallagher Institute, um, Bob Proctor's um, uh, website, and I realised that every month he puts up a new affirmation. So I'm going to actually go back on it and see what the one is, and we can write it on um, our gratitude list. Maybe that's what we'll do for our first one anymore instead of me writing kind of um the one that he said back in 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 april i write the same one every morning um you know i'm so happy and grateful now that everything in my life is moving in harmony with god's laws it's a great one uh, but it's kind of nice to change it up a bit so to find it now is another thing affirmation so yeah so he does it um does a different one every month september oh yeah so there's september one August, July, October. There's October one. Okay, so October is. I'm so happy and grateful now that I build new ideas that wind me up, that wind me up and move me into action on my goals and dreams. Okay, I'm so happy and grateful now that I build new ideas that wind me up and move me into action on my goals and dreams. So it's kind of nice to have a different one every month. So we we'll, we we'll write that one for the duration of of October and then we we'll move on to the next one. Uh, so yeah so I just I just like that but um yeah so Sylvia's launch starting next week um are all of you on Sylvia's um um Facebook group it's in it's in a different group it's not in our lady preneurs um this time so it's in her uh, it's called um it's a five-day master class and a man manifesting money master class <laughs> so um uh, yeah why not you know people feel guilty for wanting more money and uh, that's not the case at all I used to be like that I used to always say why would you want more? Should you should be happy and grateful um for what you have. And yeah, I am happy and grateful for what I have. Um, but I, you know, I want more and that's okay. You know, good people that want more money become better people and they give more. They give their time and their energy and their and their finances and you know, whatever it is, their experiences and their knowledge to um to help other people when we have an abundance. So, you know, um just because we want abundance doesn't always mean money as well. It can mean time and energy and freedom. So um by having all that um we do become better people and we give more. I love um I love the thoughts of um you know helping um other family members and friends that need it and you know setting up your your own kids. Um, I print out Bob Proctor monthly and have it on mirrors and say it out loud as I pass. Brilliant, Colleen. That's great. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, I didn't actually realize that. It's only kind of lately I've been going on his um, his website just to kind of get some tips and tools um, for uh, my gratitude journal. And yeah, there's so much information on, on his website. It's unbelievable. So much. But yeah. Um, yeah uh yeah it's nice to kind of do something different um right um it ha have different um affirmations and um with gratitude as well you know you know always 
you can write the first maybe three the same, maybe three or four the same every day. That's fine because you do want to be grateful for, you know, those things, whether it's your family or your um, cup of coffee or, you know, nature, you know, be, be grateful for these things that we take for granted. Um, but also it's kind of nice to change it up and kind of, you know, realize that you can be grateful for stuff that happened in your past and conversations and, and, and past um, experiences with people that even have passed away at this stage. So um, it's really, really nice to write those down. And um, there was another one I was looking at, actually, it was a really good one. Think of teachers. It said, it said you may not um, remember their names, but we all had teachers and mentors growing up that, you know, might have helped us achieve our goals back then. So um, try and remember them as well. So that's another idea for for um, for gratitude. Um, there was loads, actually. Nature was another one and um, parts of your body and what our body does for us on a daily basis. Like our body, our, our bodies are unbelievable, um, like how they heal themselves and, you know, and our mind. And it's just we've no idea how how um, um, how our mind works. We really don't. We we have a We have an idea, but we don't know um, the extent of it. And we never will. Don't think we ever will. Um, but yeah, so everything just starts with a thought. So just remember that, you know, you're thinking of your um, your goal and you're visualizing it and everything starts there. So um, and it's the law. It has to happen. So, you know, do it every day and your body will start to move into action towards it. And and by doing that, then you're just getting closer and closer to it um, every day. So keep doing it, um, you know, lock it in, know exactly what you want. I always, I say this a lot, but repetition is key. Bob Proctor always says that. Write down what you want, you know, make it clear. So, because we think in pictures. So if you have a clear idea and a clear image in your head of what exactly you want in your life, write it down. Um, and then you'll be able to visualize it um, even better. And um, it's easy. It just gets easier that way. And, you know, the universe loves detail, absolutely loves detail. So the more detail, the better. So write it down. And it's actually a lovely exercise to do because um, it gets you kind of excited and you're kind of like, oh, you know, because whatever you hold in your head, you can hold in your hand. So um, Bob Proctor says that all the time. So just, um, you know, write it down. And know exactly what you want and you know how with every part of your life you know the job you're going to be doing um the house you're going to be living in the car you're going to be driving the clothes you're going to be wearing you know everything write down everything and and you know it can take a while it can take um, we get two weeks to do this in the thinking into results the broad proctor course that we're doing so um you know take your time doing it and do you know maybe do 20 minutes a day just to write down and uh, you will uh, change and tweak it um, it's never going to stay the same but um, you know if you have the bones of it you will know exactly what you want to be able to visualize um, easier because you're visualizing you might be visualizing kind of what I'm saying but you need to visualize your own um, um, your own goals and, and your own um, dreams and what you exactly want exactly what you want so um, and it could it could be different to what I'm saying you know here every morning so um so yeah so do that for yourself it's such a lovely lovely exercise to do it really really is um so yeah so if you have any questions or or, or anything if you want to get on sylvia's money manifesting um five day master class is starting monday let me know and i'll add you to um i actually put a post up i think yesterday on here um um with the link so what you have to do is just click on the link and, sh and um she will accept you in she'll approve you in so uh yeah it's um it's a it's gonna be good fun to start monday for five days and uh she'll be doing you know it's uh, you know a lot of it will be the same content but you will take you will get so much more from it um, especially we're watching it a second time because it's not going to be the exact same or anything but when you you know watch something a second time um you will get something else because you're on a different vibration you'll hear something else you can you know and as well her videos were 45 to 55 minutes long um last month so it's not possible to stay focused for all that time it's not it's not going to happen so it's kind of lovely to be able to get the opportunity to listen to it again, watch it again and um, and take it all in and take down, take down some notes. And um, there was a, a workbook as well. So make sure you, you print that off if you can um, or, you know, kind of write down your notes on a separate um you know, pad, no pad, um, on the days or whatever, and, and kind of answer the questions. So, um, and it's all for you, you know, it really is it's all, um, to help you, um, discover your goals and, uh, 
discover that life can be um, the way you want it to be your life you create your own reality so we, t we sometimes don't realize that I certainly didn't before I started doing thinking into results I was thinking this is my life now this is the way it's going to be nothing's going to change um, but no we're the like whatever we have in our life right now whatever results we're getting is what we've manifested we're manifesting the whole time but if you change your thoughts to positive thoughts you're going to be manifesting good things but if you're in, in negative thoughts and worry that's you know what you're going to be attracting and you're going to be um, attracting in more and more of that so it just makes so much sense now life makes so much sense just listen to oh uh, there's so much information out there that it just didn't click with me you know when you're watching all these videos you're kind of like oh yeah sounds good sure bob has it all or whatever you know um you're looking forward to it Annie. yeah i know it's just so good and it's such a great week because it's such a high energy and it's good fun and you're kind of you know um you can relate to what sylvia is saying i think we can all relate to what she's saying so it's um it's a uh, it's good okay perfect i think we'll write our gratitude list yeah um i don't want to keep you too much longer so today is wednesday the 13th of october <clears throat> no is it no 14th sorry my cousin's birthday i just saw a text coming through there and wishing my cousin happy birthday so i was like it's not the 13th it must be the 14th okay so at the top today i am grateful for perfect okay so we write down um bob proctor's affirmation for um October so he's written I'm so happy and grateful now that like we just write that at the top of our <clears throat> our notepad or our journal and then <clears throat> we can write just the next one um I build new ideas that wind me up and move me into action on my goals and dreams Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember the emotions attached to each gratitude. There's no point making it just a writing exercise. Always feel how grateful you are with every single one that you write down. Okay, so we will um, write a nine more and, um, and take it from there if we can.
Okay, how's everybody getting on? To grasp your bits, you can share what you're grateful for today if you like. It could be part of your body, it could be um, somebody you're in your life that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for this lovely cup of coffee. It tends to get cold now because of the visualization. <laughs> it gets cold a lot quicker. So I have a little, um, <laughs> what do you call them? I can't think of the name of them. Mine has gone blank to put on the top just to keep it warm. Um, I like taking a break in the middle of my gratitude list sometimes, just kind of let them kind of reflect on what I've written down. <laughs> Sorry, we don't really have the time to be taking breaks and chatting. So, okay, we'll write a couple more and then we will send love to people that are bothering us. Okay. Eight hundred hours. All right, that's my little mirror work alarm. Um, that kind of I have that actually going off every hour to remind me to do some mirror work and to compliment myself in front of the mirror. So, um, it doesn't happen that I do it every hour, but at least that reminder is there. I'm like, okay, so I'm aware of it, and then I might just do it to myself if I'm not near a mirror or my reflection or whatever. So, um, it's just an app that I downloaded. It could also be something that could remind you of something else. It could be a different trigger for you. But, you know, it could be something, okay, well, I'm great. You know, say five things or three things you're grateful for, even one, every time that little alarm goes off, you know, you could be, it just could be just something to help you, you know, remember that you are grateful because as the day goes on, we, um, you know, energy dips, mood dips. Um, so it's a good thing to um, keep it in mind and maybe write a few gratitudes again, you know, throughout the day, maybe around lunchtime, three or four o'clock or getting into bed or whatever. It's kind of a good, a good time to do those things because, you know, when you're getting into bed at nighttime, this is part of our routine as well. We're getting into bed at nighttime. Sometimes you kind of think, oh, I didn't do my routine 100 percent or I didn't do everything that was on my checklist or I didn't do whatever, you know, I should, I should, I should. So, um. It kind of gets you out of that um, self-criticizing mode and um, and you start thinking about what you did do. So it could be a lovely hug you had with one of your kids or conversation or conversation with your husband or, you know, something you might have watched together or just to cuddle on the couch together or a hug from your puppy. Whatever it is, something that will make you feel good. I just say to, to the kids when they're, before they go to sleep, what did you do today that put a smile on your face? And then they're thinking about that as they're falling asleep. So it just keeps your, you know, keeps your thoughts positive. Um, Michael talks negatively sometimes about school. So I'm trying to get him to think total opposite. I said, you know, Michael, there's good and bad in absolutely every situation. Yeah, you don't like school. You know, we all know. <laughs> we hear it often enough. He goes to bed sometimes saying, oh, I wish it was Friday tomorrow. I wish it was Saturday tomorrow. And like Michael, there is no point, absolutely no point. And then he blames stuff for for stuff, you know. And there's, you know, I'm like Michael, you are. The, the, this is probably way too too old for him, but and he probably can't grasp it. But the more you say it, you know, the more he will start to um understand it um and believe it, you know. I say, Michael, you can't blame. He blames like brushing his teeth for you know getting all um waking up kind of thing so he kind of comes to life at night time and when he's getting into bed um he's wide awake and he blames being wide awake by after brushing his teeth he said every time i brush my teeth then i'm wide awake because he might be tired up in the kitchen <laughs> michael you can't do that i said it's not it's not brushing your teeth it's not that's not your it's it's not that fault um i'm trying to explain that you know you're you it all comes from within and he's only eight but like he's he's developing his conscious mind now so up until the age of seven all you have is a subconscious mind so you can only accept information so he's at the stage now where he can reject and accept information and sometimes you know what i'm saying he just 
doesn't want to know, you know, he doesn't want to hear it. So it's totally normal for his age and um, it's probably not completely developed yet, but um, you can actually, you can see it. You can see the difference in him and Hannah, Hannah's six. And uh, yeah, he's um, he is rejecting um, stuff that, that you say now. And then you tell Hannah, she could repeat it verbatim the next day because she just takes it all in. And that's why it's so easy for young kids to... Um, learn a different language or learn four languages all at once because they can't reject this information they can only accept it so um uh, okay i've done way too much talking there now and it's probably yeah probably you probably have to go but anyway look at we will um we'll write down at the bottom here for this and for more i am grateful thank you thank you thank you so I'll just finish briefly what I was saying there. So what I'm trying to get Micah to do is live from the inside out, not from the outside in. So we don't want um, to blame anything other than, um, we don't want to blame anything at all. So when we you know, when we create our own, our own reality, it comes from inside. So if, if we, you know, we have to live from the inside out, not from the outside in. Do not let outside circumstances um, affect your mood. And like this is so it's, you know, it's challenging because this is what we we've been doing all our lives. You know, you made me feel bad. You know, nobody makes you feel bad. That's your decision. You let that person make you feel bad you know so just kind of think of it that way if if it's you know if you know you're looking at the news or if you're you know at this minute this time like I don't know why people have the news on constantly just I don't get it because we know what we need to do and we don't need to know the ins and outs of every little situation so um you know it's it's only bringing your vibration down you hear bad news all the time you're taking it on board you're impressing that into your subconscious mind and it brings down your vibration and you're going to attract in more of that you're going to stay on that frequency and attract in more of that so it's very very hard to get out of that so now um, here the news doesn't go on at all um, and if it is on Lee wants to kind of dip dip in and out of it I'm gone out of the room I'm gone I don't want to hear it and that's not me being you know ignorant or me being um don't want to know what's happening obviously I know what's happening but I don't want it to um, emotionalize it I don't want to take it on um, because it's not going to help anyone certainly not going to help me or anyone I live with so I don't see the point but um, yeah so as I was saying you know we can't blame the economy for our results we can't blame COVID we can't blame anything our results are what we have manifested we're manifesting all the time and it's your thoughts and your feelings and your actions, um, which is called, which is basically called attitude, um, is what is, is is how we manifest. So if your thoughts are negative, you're going to manifest negative things. If your thoughts are positive, you're going to po you know manifest positive things. So you know keep them positive for as often for as long as you can throughout the day. Do not blame. You know live from here inside out. And uh, you know if somebody says something that you don't like, or um, if you're if you feel it's starting to get to you. Just focus on your goal. Think about your goal. Think about your visualization in the mornings and at nighttime, and that will get you excited. Just focus on where you're going. Don't focus on um, on those negative thoughts and um, and don't let anybody um, make you feel bad because it's not them that's making you feel bad. You're allowing them to make you feel bad. So you're you're the controller of your own thoughts, and uh, nobody else can can do that. Um, Bob with it. I remember listening to one of Bob's videos. Um, and he was saying that um, somebody he knew was in like a um, concentration camp and like they're they were absolutely, you know, abused there, like mentally, physically. Um, but he every like every day he brought himself to a nice place. So he said, that's the one thing that nobody has control over. And that's my thoughts. So he used to bring himself to this nice place. I don't know who he was. I can't even remember uh, the story. But when you know, when you think about that, we're not even going through anything like that. But yet our thoughts are negative and we're blaming everything around us and every person around us. Um, so just kind of, you know, remember that it comes from the inside, whatever, how we're feeling. So if you're having a negative thought or if you're feeling bad, take a look at yourself okay what am I doing that's making me feel this way you know what am I doing um, and and you know the results I'm creating because that's it's all coming from within it's not coming from the outside world it's not coming from you know what's happening around us right now it's coming from inside so
anyways enough let's move on okay perfect so i'm going to grab an oil and um i will um we'll send love to people that are bothering us okay oh love this one elevation it's the joyful blend um it's one of my favorites in the diffuser because it's it's the joyful blend and who doesn't need joy <laughs> well after that conversation we all need it i think <laughs> Mm, so so gorgeous i love it you can't not smile when you smell that oil it's just so gorgeous so i'm gonna leave it out because i want to put it into my diffuser now after this call um okay so um what was it going? oh yeah so let's send love to people that are bothering us okay so picture that person um if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll explain it again but um i just want to move on because we're very late so and picture that person that's bothering you that 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 you're angry with and this you know this is another way of letting go and um picture them standing in front of you white light going from your heart to theirs and sending love and then we do it with a second person and then we do it with ourselves and i'll prompt you along the way okay perfect Perfect. When you're ready, move on to person number two. Okay, perfect. When you're ready, move on to yourself. So picture you standing in front of you, white light going from your heart to yours and sending love. perfect so now we will ask for guidance so we ask the universe for guidance so this is a way of following your intuition so when you um ask these questions um, and practice this throughout the day as well you will um you know you get your answers through flashes going through your mind whether it's um flash of somebody's face or somebody's name or whatever it is and act on it pick up the phone and ring them or it could be whatever, depending on the questions you ask, it could be something to do with your health. Water might appear in front of you, drink more water, go out into nature, it could be anything. So just be aware of the questions that you've asked, but don't keep thinking about them. Ask the question and let it go. And then um, when these little things come into your mind, um, you're strengthening your intuitive muscles when you take those actions. So bear that in mind. OK, so we we'll take a few more deep breaths, ask the question and um, and then just let it go and practice this throughout the day. Really, really important. So really, when you do this, you really don't want any distractions. Like even I can hear noises out in the hall and stuff and that distracts me. So, it's, you know, it's going to be the same for everyone. So just, you know, if you can do it when you're on your own, uh, maybe a bit of light music, like relaxing music on YouTube or whatever it is, just to maybe do it after your meditation. Um, a good time to do it is now, but it's it's um, it's difficult when there's people around and uh, you can't really connect. So you really need to connect with your inner self. The answers that we get are actually coming from within, but we don't trust ourselves enough. So if you need to make a decision on anything, you know, um, something to do with your home or or whatever it is, um, you need to make a decision and you can't think, oh, will I go this way, that way? And you're asking people's opinions, um, you know, just ask for guidance. Sit down, really relax, a bit of music and, you know, no radio, no telly, no kids, nothing um, to distract you and you know just really connect and uh, and ask the questions so play around with it do it a few times throughout the day and kind of see um 
what what comes up for you okay perfect so after this call head over to your mirror and um, give yourself the five compliments so the first two are always the same look into one eye i love you you are perfect as you are and then at least three more compliments and then into the other eye i love you you are perfect as you are and at least three more compliments and you can cover the one that you're not looking into if you like it might make it easier so um when you're looking into your eyes you're looking into your soul so it's just um uh, it's just it's really important to do that it does work wonders for your self-confidence it really really does um so yeah so try it and see how you get on and um yeah thank you so much um to you all this morning i'm sorry i kept you so long i hope um i hope it helped and uh, any questions um just let me know just get in touch and if you want to be added to um the money manifesting uh it's kind of like a tongue twister money manifesting masterclass um for next week starting monday let me know and i can um, add you to um sylvia's group okay everyone have a lovely wednesday talk to you tomorrow bye